This video is to show you how to use Stat Pro to do a runs test and an auto correlations test. Uh, and uh, these two tests are used um, to test if a data set is random or not. Uh, now, I'm going to use an example here um, from chapter 13 of the uh, Decision Analysis and Decision Making textbook by Albright and Winston. Okay, and I'm going to look at problem number one um, in this textbook. Um, okay, going all the way down, bear with me here. I just wanted to show you what that first chapter looks like. Um, so problem number one, keep going. The problems are um, interspersed with the, uh, the questions here. So it's a bit of a pain finding some of them. Bear with me sometimes. So problem number one right here, uh, we're going to use uh, the Excel file p13 underscore 01 and we're going to check uh, is this time series random? It's the number of airline tickets sold by Carefree Travel Agency. We're going to perform a runs test and an auto correlations test. So let's go grab that data and do those two tests in Stat Pro. Uh, if you don't have this data and you're just watching this video again, uh, this should be enough info for you to figure out how to do the runs test and the auto correlations test if you don't have this exact data file. Uh, okay, so we have under the add-ins here, Stat Pro. And this is the version of Stat Pro for Excel 2010 and 2016, by the way. Um, okay, so here's our data. There's our add-in. I've added in. There it is. Stat Pro. And to do um, our testing here, okay. Uh, notice you can, if you forget where something is, you just scroll down, look through, um, and time series slash forecasting is where the runs test is and the autocorrelations test, as well as time series graphs and forecasting. We'll deal with those in future videos. Okay, so first one is the runs test, so go click on that, and then click the little box here to select your data. You can select it all if you want. Um, we're just going to actually do the test on the data itself here, these, um, these numbers. But that's okay, you can highlight everything. And then check, we want the ticket numbers. Click OK. Uh, mean of the series is great, so that's the default. Click OK. And let's just put it in this worksheet, just to the right of the data. Click OK, click OK, and here we go. And there is your runs test. Um, okay, and there's also a conclusion that pops up. So if you um, if you want to see the little conclusion here or a little note, uh, just hover over this p-value value here, a little red box. It says, if this value is small, less than 0 0.05, you can reject the null hypothesis of randomness. So conclusion based on this um, result is that the based on the runs test, the tickets sold or the number, bear with me here, of tickets sold is not random. Okay, secondly is the auto correlations test. So there's two different tests you can do. So let's say this guy was okay. Let's say you had a p-value above 0.05. Okay, so again, if this p-value is below 0.05, we say for sure the data is not random. If it's above 0.05, there's another test you go do. And we're going to do it anyways because the question asked us to. It is the autocorrelations test. So again, back to add-ins, back to Stat Pro, time series, and autocorrelations. Here we go. Go highlight your data yet again. You just need your number of tickets again, but again, you can highlight everything. Click OK. Uh, one note as well is that you also highlight the title, um, uh, the upper cell there, uh, as you highlight. Uh, and it says um, a default number of lags. Let's just leave it at that. That's totally fine. So it suggests 12. If you don't know what a lag is yet, that's okay. Click OK. And let's put our result in the same worksheet right here. Good. Good. And click OK. And there we go. Okay, so if you get any red bars in this graph, that means, again, your data is not random. Um, it is autocorrelated, which means that um, the different months here are dependent on each other. So lag one autocorrelation means that, uh, let's say February is dependent on January's ticket sales. June is dependent on May. So there's some sort of interdependence between the different um, values here, uh, month to month. Uh, there's also what's called a lag five and a lag six autocorrelation. So five months from now, data is dependent 
on the data five months ago, et cetera, et cetera. But again, same conclusion as before, um, is that based on the autocorrelations test as well, same conclusion. Number of tickets sold is not random.